Hello and welcome to this tutorial video into Query Surge. In this video, we'll show you how to create a new project in your Query Surge instance. To create a new project, you will need to log into your global administration portal. Once logged in, under the Query Surge administration tree located on the left hand side, you'll select the projects option. This will open up your projects pane where you can make any changes and edits to any of your projects. To add a new project, we'll just click the add button right here. The next thing that we need to do is fill out some information on the project which we wish to create. The first is going to be our project name and our project name must be unique in the query search instance. In this case, I'm gonna create a project called demo one which is unique in this particular instance. We then need to decide if our project is going to be enabled or disabled. And a little information on this particular setting can be found by hovering over the question mark right here. A disabled project is a project which is unavailable to users. It's sometimes useful to create a project, assign users and have it disabled. That way you can set it up prior to making it go live. This is very useful if you have projects that have yet to start and you're just setting up the project early on. The next option that we have here is if our project will be unlocked or locked. A locked project is a project which is in read only mode. This is useful if you want to save the state of a project at a particular point in time. In most cases, you're going to create your new projects in enabled mode and unlocked mode, as this will allow users who get assigned to that project to start using it right away. The next option that we need to decide if we want to include is our tutorial and sample data. Query Surge comes bundled with sample data to get users up to speed with Query Surge. You can add this tutorial and sample data to any number of projects, and it's very useful for new users to get a feel for how Query Surge works. All of the assets that come with our tutorial and sample data can be deleted from the project itself. In this particular example, I'm going to leave this unchecked in which case our tutorial and sample data will not be added to this particular project. The last field that we have here is a description field, and this is useful as the global admin can write any notes that is related to creation of this particular project. This could be things like when, why and when this particular project was created and any changes that might have happened, such as alterations to the lock status. Once all of our fields are filled out, to create our project, we just need to click the Save button. The creation process does take a few minutes to run through and really depends upon how busy your query search instance is. Once done, you'll get a notification that your project has been created. And that is all you need to do in order to create a new project in your query search instance. Thank you very much for watching this video.